All right, boys and girls, good morning. It is Friday, our fifth day of no school. And this reflection is gonna get to me after a while. Um, still wearing the glasses, still sick and tired of looking at the computer screen and I just want to see your faces. I have a story to read with you today. I know Mia read to you yesterday. I took a little break, but now it is my turn and I picked another main author. I love, love, love stories by main authors and I know what you're gonna say when I say this because I always say it. This is one of my favorite authors. I love Chris Van Dusen. I've actually um, been to a read aloud by him and if you search in Google his name on YouTube, he is now reading stories out loud to boys and girls while we are home. Um, listen to the story carefully. You know I'm going to ask you your opinion afterwards. And I also have a little task for you today uh, about this book. It's called If I Built a House. And like I said, the author is Chris Van Dusen. And I love the end pages in his books because you can see his amazing ideas that he sketched out. And here's the title page, If I Built a House. I love this boy. He's like, hmm, you know, this goes here and I put that there. I feel like in this picture I can see what he's thinking. And here's, <coughs> excuse me, our dedication page. Jack in the backyard said to his mother, this house is okay, but it's like any other. It's boxy and boring and basically bland. It's nothing at all like the house I have planned. Again, I love his, hmm, you can see his ideas. My house will be different. It can't be the norm. I'll think about traffic flow, function, and form. Oh, it may include shapes like a tower or dome, but I'll focus on what makes a building a home. It's the rooms on the inside that make it unique. So step through the door and let's take a peek. We'll start with the basics right off the bat. Check out my all-in-one kitchen, oh Matt. You don't have to cook and you don't have to clean. It's all done by Space Age robotic machine. It makes all the meals and the food is delish. Then it washes and puts away every last dish. I want this for my house. The living room's next. Oh, it's fun. Come on in. The chairs and the tables and the sofas all spin. And trampolines lead to a giant ball pit. It's a pretty neat room, you have to admit. Now look at the bathroom, no shower, no tub. Instead, take a ride on my scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Just step on the belt and it washes you clean, even the places you've never seen. Whoa, it's a loved book. We lost a page in the middle. And here is my bedroom way high up in the sky on top of the tower 200 feet high. With glass all around, just check out the view. A bed in a tower, now that's something new. And all the Chris Van Dusen books have a little secret picture in them. And right here, if you look very carefully, there's Mr. McGee and his little dog, D is another series of books that Chris Van Dusen writes. The rooms we walk through just moments before are the kind that you'll find in any decor. But if I built a house, I'd add a few more. So hop on the slide, it's time to explore. You know how I constantly like to create? Well, this is my art room, isn't it great? You draw on the wall, don't worry, it's cool. Hung way up high is a big giant spool. It's a huge roll of paper that hangs to the floor. Just draw till you're done, 
then pull down some more. Next comes my flying room. See how it's tall? It's empty except for a switch on the wall. Just turn off the switch and you'll float to the ground, then flap like a bird and fly all around. Oops. Isn't it nice to be up in the air? A room without gravity? That's pretty rare. This is my racetrack room. Step right in. Side. It's less like a room and more like a ride. It features a racetrack that loops all around with super fast go-karts that don't make a sound. You fly and you flip and you zip and you zoom. You have to admit it's a wonderful room. A room filled with water, now that's something new. But if I built a house, that's just what I'd do. This is my fish tank room, ain't it a sight? Don't worry, they're friendly. These critters won't bite. Just strap on an air mask and swim with the fishes. Now this is a room that every kid wishes. Oh, Rocky. Of course, I've been saving the best room for last. And literally speaking, this room is a blast. So welcome, sit down, I'll seal up the hatches. This plexiglass playroom completely detaches. You fly it around why it even has jets. For me, this room is as good as it gets. My house will be nifty, my house will be neat, my house will stand out as the best on the street. Daringly bold, yet exquisitely fine. A musty example of modern design. My house will be hailed as refreshingly new. If I built a house, that's just what I'd do. <coughs> and I love the end page with the mom, like again, hmm, look at this example of a house. So I said when I was reading this story that you would have a challenge or something to do. I want you to pick. You can draw a picture, write a story, or build. What would your house look like? You can do any special kind of room you want like the boy in the story did. I want you to design what your house would look like. Not your real house, an imaginary house. Um, you have you don't have to do it right away. If you want to go outside and get some fresh air today, please go out. But um, you have the weekend to work on it. And again, I either want to see a picture, please, or a story, or if you have Legos or blocks or something you can build with, build what your house would look like if you built a house. Miss you guys. I hope to see you soon.